question. Which type of anime do you prefer? A. A shitty isekai anime that tried to act like a good isekai show. Or B. A shitty isekai anime that focused solely on comedy. Well, it looks like most of you weebs pick A because all of you have good taste. Hopefully you guys have selected B and now go watch Mao Sama retry. You guys stay safe, stay blessed, I'm out. Peace. Hold up, why is Taku? You can just drop a 20 second video and tell us what your f it is they can show without much of an explanation. Don't make me hit them dislike button, boy. Alright, relax fam, chill weebs. I'm gonna give you an explanation so don't hit the dislike button. As you can tell by the picture, today we're gonna do a review on Mao Sama Retry. If you haven't noticed already, from myanimelist.net, this anime is not a really well known anime, nor that many people watching it or following the series, and the score is clearly illustrating a mediocre anime at best. So, why would I recommend this anime? Or why should I even make an episode on this anime? Is it to shit on it, or is it to roast the f of the anime like I did on Oleka Skinano wa Imoto Dageto Imoto Janai? Not really. This is a proper review, and I will explain why you might want to give this anime a chance later on the video. So, without further ado, Taku, hit my intro fam. Comedy is the type of platform that it genuinely doesn't care too much about look. Online nowadays, in most social media and platforms, the prettier you look, the more attention you will get, and ultimately the more success you tend to receive when you're comparing two different individuals with similar skills but one being better looking. Now, how does that matter in this video? Well, anime is a quite superficial platform that looks matter a lot. Like, if she ain't cute, she ain't your waifu. And most of the anime characters are relatively aesthetically pleasing. That's how they're drawn. Except that ugly bastard from Damachi. <laughs> Now, bringing back to the topic, good looking anime costs a lot of money. Making a wife feel extra cute needs extra dollar bill. And another key area where looks matter a lot is animation, like action scene, which requires a lot of animator and a lot of time, which again costs even more pounds. So, what happens when an anime studio's budget is a bit tight? you will need something to compensate for your lack of good look and animation. And the answer is comedy, which brings us all the way back to the key point of this section. Good comedy can save a low budget anime. A perfect example would be Konosuba. That show looks ghetto as fuck, but it is still extremely successful with two anime seasons and one movie. This leads on to my point. Good comedy can make a low budget anime entertaining, just like how good personality dude can pick up the hottest waifu in the room even though he's not the best looking dude. And that's exactly what Mao Sama Retry is, a funny comedy anime that is extremely enjoyable for the viewer to watch. Mao Sama Retry has implemented a lot of surreal comedy in the show. Surreal comedy is a type of humor where two unlikely events are juxtaposed together to create a ridiculous nonsense outcome, which resulted in unexpected and entertainment. For example, the second princess, Killer Queen. Killer Oops, long kill queen, get out! She is a ruthless, strong, independent woman that dominates every enemy that stood in front of her. That was her first impression, but a catchy applica anime studio then made her fall in love with Zero Sama, a super duper OP character, and then she suddenly became a young innocent female that is in love. She started doing girly things that's completely opposite to her strong character design. That just a position is extremely funny and entertaining. I'm 
口が悪く健康早い俺を女として失敗してくれたキリザメゼロ様<笑>Like Luna, her voice actress is Isahara Kaori, and she has voiced many famous characters, including Aladdin for Maggie. In addition, we also have many famous voice actors for the male characters. Like, for example, the main protagonist's voice actor is Kenjiro Tsuda, who voiced many important characters, like the Red King from K. Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! and Lamb from Hitman Reborn. But no disrespect, he sounds like he's choking on a dick in this show. <laughs> Originally, his voice is really awkward and almost felt like it was out of place. But the more I start listening and the more I start watching the show, the more I start enjoying it. Maybe it was because his voice works really well with the surreal comedy format of my o s a m a retry. I don't know, his voice grew on me and I can't really explain it with words or logic. Nonetheless, it is still entertaining for me to listen to, and I love the fact that the anime company is focusing on the voice actor and the comedy element specifically in the show. Personally, I have read the manga a while ago, and based on my vague memory, I want to make a public announcement that the manga is way better than the anime. For example, in terms of the art style, characters are genuinely more aesthetically pleasing in the manga, and the action scenes are way more impactful and better than the anime. If a gun is pointed at me and m a k e me pick between the anime or the manga, I will pick the manga 11 times out of 10 because the manga is way better than the anime. But we live in a world where both things can coexist. Although the anime is trash compared to the manga, but that doesn't mean the anime is not entertaining to the viewer. In fact, I could make a case where the anime is more entertaining than the manga. For example, the comedy area in the anime is better than the manga, in my personal opinion. It's like comparing CP3 with LeBron. Although CP3 might be trash compared to LeBron, but he's still a really good future Hall of Fame NBA superstar. Both can ball, and both are really good medium in this case. The reason why I made this section is to spread more awareness to the manga area, as I think the manga deserves more spotlight. Why? Because it's simply better. That same case applies to Ale Fueta. The anime is clearly not ready. The CGI is awful. Battle animation is atrocious. And it simply doesn't do the show a justice. In comparison, the light novel and the manga are so much better. So I hope you guys can go and check out the manga after this video. In conclusion, I will give this anime a solid score of 6.5 out of 10. Hold up. Why is Taku, after a whole episode of talking about how awesome this show is and telling us how entertaining it is and how good the comedy are, now you're gonna tell me that score is only 6.5? Am I a joke to you? Yo, I'm dead serious. Although I've mentioned many good things about the show, but I'm not gonna overlook the flaws within the anime. I can't just ignore the elephant in the room and simply say this anime is 8 out of 10, solely based on their comedy. I want to be transparent with you guys, and I think this score reflects my honesty. But if the anime studio tries to do everything rather than focusing mostly in comedy, I think this show would be a disaster and the score would be a much lower, like 4.5 out of 10 maybe. In fact, going back to our original question in the beginning, we can clearly see B as Maosama Richai and A is Isekai Cheat Magician. Both are Isekai show and both have a really low budget. One ended up being. Isekai wanna be Genja no Mago, while the other one e n d up being Isekai comedy show. Both are sh, but the latter is more entertaining, and there's nothing worse than a boring anime. These two shows remind me of a really famous line 
A person chases two rabbits, catches neither. Don't spread yourself too thin. Instead, focus on one thing at a time. It will lead to a better result. In this case, a more entertaining anime. I just want to say that isekai are not dead. Instead, I believe we enter a stage where isekai anime is getting more and more saturated. So we need more creativity from the new series in order to surprise and entertain us, the viewer. To conclude, Maosama Retry is an entertaining show. Is it the best isekai show I saw this year? No. Is it an underrated show? Uh, maybe. Does it deserve more attention? Yeah, I believe so. Are you gonna get any view from this video? Probably not. But I want to make a video on topics that I enjoy and passionate about. If you are looking for a funny comedy anime to waste your time and feel your way in the meantime before the next episode of a hyped anime drop, then Maosama Retry might be a good option for you before the end of the summer. You can stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out. Peace! Please help me find